So let's start by looking at the ilium. We can see the ilium is this large wing-shaped bone. It's the most superior and largest of the three bones, and it forms the superior part of the acetabulum. So if we look here on the lateral surface, this is all ilium here, and we can see actually going to form the superior part of the acetabulum. So a line going in approximately this direction here would be the separation of the ilium with the ischium and the pubis. So this line here separating the ilium above. The body of the ilium, if we have a look here on the lateral surface, we can see the body of the ilium. We can see it here with the superior surface, the body of the ilium. And that's joining to the pubis and the ischium at the acetabulum, like I said. Then we have this large wing of the ilium, and we can see two parts of that. We can see the ala here, this large flat surface. And then at the top of this wing, we can see we have the iliac crest. We can see the iliac crest is running over here. See it on the lateral surface. We can also see it on this medial surface. Within the iliac crest, we can see on the superior surface, there are a couple of features. So if we look for the bony landmarks of the ilium, then most anteriorly, we can see it here on this medial surface, we've got the anterior superior iliac spine. So the iliac crest is coming around the top and it finishes here as the anterior superior iliac spine. Inferior, we have an anterior inferior iliac spine. And these bony landmarks are important because they offer attachment sites for muscles. More posteriorly, we'll find we have the posterior superior iliac spine, and then below it we'll have the posterior inferior iliac spine. And we can see these on this medial surface. We can also see them on the lateral surface. Here's the anterior superior iliac spine, anterior inferior iliac spine, and here we have our two posterior iliac spines. And we could make them out on this superior view as well. If we were to just look at the lateral surface of the ilium, then this is important because it gives rise to attachments for gluteus maximus. And in order to be comfortable with the attachments of gluteus maximus, we need to be aware of some gluteal lines. So here we can see a whole series of gluteal lines, anterior, inferior, and posterior. So here we can see an anterior gluteal line. See that here. Here we can see a inferior gluteal line running alongside the body of the ilium. And here we can see a posterior gluteal line running alongside the posterior iliac spines. So it's important gluteal lines which you should be familiar with as we look at the attachment sites later on of the gluteal muscles. You just completed your first video of the world's best medical exam preparation. Lecturio brings the knowledge of worldwide leading medical experts and teaching award winners to your PC, tablet, or smartphone. Prepare yourself and check your progress with thousands of quiz questions customized to US MLE standards. And the very best, you can get in touch with our medical experts personally. Visit Lecturio.com now and continue with the most inspiring medical education around the globe, anytime, anywhere.